Good morning, family. It's happy hump day. It's Wednesday. Um, it's been a little bit of a minute since I was able to sit down and and, and do this and, and update you this way. But um, I did feel like as the second nine weeks midterm was approaching that we needed to have a little chat. Um, I finished up grading the unit two unit test last night. And there are a lot of you that I needed to you know, have a conversation with. And really they're more than I really have the time to call personally. I will be making some phone calls, made some last night, but I hope that this is gonna reach the vast majority of you. And then if you have any other questions or if you wanna talk, per, you know, via a phone call, all you have to do is let me know. But I wanna go through some things that I do to help prepare your students for our upcoming unit test. Now I'm gonna just focus on the things that we did last week leading up to the test on Friday. This, um, there are a multitude of other things within our unit that um, we do that I'm constantly, you know, in helping them, teaching them how to study math. I am very intentional on telling them how to study for math. But if they don't do that, then I, you know, I can't, there's not a lot I can do. Um, and, I'll, and I'll get into some of that, or I may make some additional videos on just specifics on how to study and that kind of thing. But I did want to focus on what we did last week to prepare for this test before I send it home today. Um, at the beginning of the week last week, we took our cumulative formative. The cumulative formative is designed to give the students an idea of what the unit test is going to look like. The questions on that on that are parallel, what I call parallel to the test. In other words, they look very similar to the test questions, but are not the exact same question. I don't believe in giving them a study guide or something that has the exact same questions on it. Now, don't, um, you know, they may see something that is a test question throughout the unit, <clears throat> but right before the test. I don't give them the test questions, but I, I do give them questions that are very close to what they're gonna see. That cumulative formative counts as like a quiz grade, and then we go over it. So last week on Tuesday, they took the cumulative formative, and on Thursday in class, and I have a student one right here, I've got name and grade covered up, but on Thursday in class, we went over every question one at the time. And you can see on the student's paper, the green paper, the green marking. I have um, green felt tip pens at every table for every student to use to write on their paper what we're doing to go over these. Um, once we went over these, I then took the key and I posted it in Google Classroom um, Thursday night. I took, I just, you know, I made a key and I posted it in Google Classroom. <coughs> in addition to that, <clears throat> I, um, there was one question on the test that I felt like needed a little added reinforcement and it was not on here. It was a test question. It was the, there was one test question that I thought, mm, we might need a little bit more help on that. We'd already done it as a warm up, you know, a week or so ago, but I knew, you know, getting them back to that. So I took and I made little quarter sheets of paper that had and cut them up into four. So it was just one question, gave every student one up. And we went over that question in class and this is what it looked like. This is where, um, this is actually where I posted it again on Google Classroom. But, um, and we went over that question and they were told that little quarter sheet of paper and this are what you need to study. Now to help them study, Thursday evening, I made a video going back over this, in case anybody missed it in class. Maybe somebody was out Thursday and we're gonna be here Friday. They could still get the review. And I posted it in Google Classroom. As well as I went back over this and posted this in Google Classroom, reminded them, and I posted the key. So they had all of those things in place right before the test. On Friday, when we took the test, I gave them 15 minutes with this and the test. They were able to take where we had gone over it, where they had written down, if they wrote down, what I went over in class, they were able to use that to help them with their test. 
So you've got a question that's very similar to the test question where I've done it, and then they had the test question. I'm at a loss a little bit. Um, I was very, I, I was very feeling very defeated last night when I was grading them. Um, I'm gonna try to pair the formative with the test today when I send them home so that you can look at them side by side. Um, you can ask them for that little quarter sheet of paper. They should have it in their math folder. Um, and, you know, as you see the grades, as you see what they did, I am happy to answer any questions. I also have a plan in place to do some reteaching and some remediating for those students who made significantly lower than a passing grade. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of time because there are, there, there's, a, there's a number large enough that I'm gonna have to do some sort of rotation. But I am going to do some sort of reteaching through lunch and learn during team time. I may pull them during their connections. Uh, after school tutoring, if it is a, if you are able to allow them to come to after school tutoring, um, after this week, I'm gonna have, we're gonna be tutoring on Tuesdays in, instead of Wednesday. So after school tutoring will be every Tuesday from 3.30 to 4.30. They don't have to have permission for me to stay. They just have to have a ride to pick them up at 4.30. They don't even have to ask me if they can stay. Most days I don't even know how many I ha I'm gonna have until after school. But um, after school tutoring will also be a way that I can kind of do the reteaching that needs to happen. And sometime between now and Christmas, before we get out for the Christmas break, before the end of the nine weeks, the students who did significant, who, who did not show mastery, I am going to reassess, I'm going to retest them. And I will help that grade. Um, I have to, you know, get with Miss, you know, find out you know, about replacing the grade, that kind of thing. But I'm, my, my plan is to retest them and, and replace the grade that's in the grade book and then leave some sort of comment as to the fact that it was, re, you know, that we had a reteaching reassessment kind of thing. Um, my concern is just you being aware of everything that's out there. Um, they do also, there are several, I have a daily grade that looks like this that they are doing a little cut and paste. I have got most of those from them. We did these in class for a couple of days. And then um, I've gotten most of those from them. But if your student comes up and it looks like it's missing, please ask them about that. That is a daily grade. We have our summative project that we've been working on in class that a large portion of them have finished that will also be a summative grade. That is also due now, I mean, it, we should, they should have finished it on Monday, but should they, um, I am going to be giving those to those students who are not finished to finish up and get back to me by the end of this week. Um, but it looks like this, it has a paper that looks like this, and then a little folded paper that they're, that has a, a grid on it. And they're, and all of the directions are on this orange paper. And we did the, the vast majority of it. They had two full class periods to um, work on this, and I walked them through a good bit of it. I also uh, have posted a video um, helping them with their project. The, the video is, is in Google Classroom. If they bring it home and need to finish it, there's a video there to walk them through how to do it. Um, so there's all of that. I would like to hear from anybody that maybe doesn't have internet access, doesn't have a way for their student to get on Google Classroom at home. Um, I can do some things here at school to help them with that because I wish I had the time every day to give them the time that they need to master what we're doing in class and them never have to do a thing at home. But. It, it's just not, that's not the real world. You know, I've told you before, I need 90 minutes with them and I get 60. So I ask them for 20 minutes every night to do something math related. Um, we started unit three yesterday and they do have a formative, their first formative in unit three is on Friday. We'll be doing some practice and a quick check to, um, today and tomorrow. Their study plan on progress learning. Um, let me see if I can get you to, be able to show you a couple of things in here. 
I have posted on my board right here. This is study plan, progress learning. They know what that is and they can get on that at home. And every single one of our test questions comes from progress learning. I'm 100% confident if they do what I have posted right here, if they spend about 20 minutes every night working some problems on there, they're gonna see their test questions, to be honest with you. They're gonna see most of the assessment questions that they're gonna end up seeing on formatives and on summative assessments. I also have after school tutoring posted over here on my board. Right now it's posted on Wednesdays, but it'll be on, on Tuesday starting next week. Um, Ms. Beddington and I are kind of teaming that up to do that. And two Wednesdays are just hard for both of us because of church. Um, I'm probably gonna do another video sometime in the next few days walking you through what Google Classroom looks like so that you can see everything that gets posted there and what they have available to them at home. But like I said, I just wanted to have a conversation about the unit test, how we, you know, that's just the week prior. That's not things that we do with, within the unit. But um, if you have any questions, please let me know. These will come home and sign papers today. I am gonna put a parent signature stamp on them and ask that you send the test back to me because especially if your student did not master, did not did not pass it, because I'm gonna need that document to help them as I reteach. I want them to be able to see what they did wrong as I'm going over them with them and as I'm doing that reteaching with them. So um, I am gonna stamp their papers with a parent signature stamp if you will please send the test papers back to the with the student to me. Um, with their signed paper folder tomorrow. Um, again, if you have any questions, reach out to me on Remind. I'll be happy to have a conversation about anything. Midterm is next week, and these test grades are going to affect their midterms. This project will be part of their midterm. It'll help because it's also a summative, but if it goes in as a missing assignment, it's gonna, it's gonna kill them. So, um, just let me know if you have any questions. I love all of your babies. I want them to be successful. I want them to thrive. I want them to be the best that they can possibly be. And you know, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. I'm. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna post a couple of other videos on just some procedural things, just to kind of make you aware. Because I just really don't think that you are fully aware of all of the things that I'm doing to try to help them be successful. And um, I don't think they're taking advantage of those things at home either. So um, again, let me know if you have any questions. I apologize, this got a lot longer than I normally do, but this was just a real important uh, conversation that I wanted to have with you. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. And again, let me know if you need me. Mwah!